Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a preview video. This is going to be our first preview, um, and it's for my most anticipated game of 2022. It's called Harvestella, and it's from Square Enix. Okay, so I love Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, um, Story of Seasons, but just looking at this first photo here, um, you can really see that because this farming sim is made by Square Enix, um, they've really taken graphics to the next level. So, you know, hopefully the gameplay <laughs> is as good as all these photos and screenshots make it look. Because um, as you can see from this one, this is the typical, you know, farming. She's, you know, tilling the soil, um, planting the seeds, um, watering them, and then, you know, harvesting them. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this aspect of the game because, you know, Square Enix, they definitely brought it with the graphics. Um, so hopefully the gameplay is really smooth as well. Okay, this next photo here shows an overview of the whole farm. Um, and I think the main thing to know from this picture is they show the animal on the farm. Um, you know, in a lot of the Rune Factory games, um, animal taming is a thing. Um, and that's also going to continue, you know, in this game, Harvestella. Um, so I guess it remains to be seen whether like all of the monsters are going to be tameable or it's just going to be a select few. Um, but, you know, in games like Rune Factory, it was like almost all of the monsters could be tamed, including some of the bosses. Um, so it'll be interesting to see in this game, can we tame anything? What do you guys think? Okay, this next photo here, we can see that um, you're going to be making friends with the village people, and then after you become friends with them, you can go on quests with them, um, and it seems like the story will progress um, depending on, you know, your relationship with the other people. Um, this is one of the most uh, exciting aspects of the game for me, I think, so far. Um, I know a lot of the fans have been discussing whether there's going to be marriage in this game and dating. Um, I think that's still unclear at the moment, but, you know, from this photo, there's at least going to be friendships in the game and, uh, you know, progression in that sense. So, you know, fingers crossed that they'll also include dating in the game. This next photo shows you the combat, what it's, what it's going to end up looking like. Um, in this photo, it looks like she is a mage and she is, you know, fighting with some type of spell with the monster. Um, I think that's another exciting aspect of the game, is like a lot of other Square Enix games, um, you're going to get to change classes, um, which is something that I don't think any other farming game or Rune Factory type game has ever implemented before. Um, if I'm wrong, you can tell me in the comments, but I don't think I've ever seen another um, farming sim that also did um, different classes. So as you can see from this photo here, it says that she acquired a new job class. So it looks like as you progress through the game, you can get different job classes and then switch between them, which um, I think is really interesting and really cool. Um, I, like a lot of other fans, you know, I'm really excited about games where, you know, you can change your class and experiment with different types of things in the battle systems. So there's going to be a lot of different aspects to this game. Um, one of them is here, you can see the fishing. Um, I personally am not the biggest fan of uh, fishing mini games in games. Um, I really hope it's just like a simple, because um, you know some games it's really complicated where they'll have like some crazy mechanic where you have to push the button at the right time or you'll have to rapidly push the button at certain points. Um, but I prefer it when it's just like um, you go somewhere to fish you push the button and then it does it automatically and you just move on with your life. Um, I guess we'll have to see what the, how they uh, tackle fishing in this game. This next photo also showcases something that's really interesting about the um, Harvestella is unlike other farming games where there's only four seasons, uh, Harvestella will actually have five different seasons. So of course they have um, summer, spring, fall, and winter, but they also have the fifth one, which is death. Um, what exactly that will entail, <laughs> um, you know, it's anybody's guess at the moment, but um, it looks like, you know, depending on how you play the game, um, it's possible for this season of death to occur. 
Okay, this is the last photo that we'll be looking at today. Um, this character, her name is Estina. Um, and the one thing to note about this photo is, I know for some people it's a really big deal whether or not a game has the artwork. As you can see in this game, it definitely will have the artwork for the characters in the game. Um, I know when Story of Seasons, um, Pioneers of Olive Town came out, a lot of people were really upset <laughs> that um, when you talk to the villagers, there's no artwork. Um, me personally, I don't really care too much, but it is nice to have it. And again, because it's Square Enix, the graphics are really good, the artwork is really good. So I'm really excited. Okay, so I just want to say one last time, I am so excited for this game, Harvestella. And I have to say, I have not been excited for a new Square Enix game in... in a very long time. I think the last <laughs> Square Enix game that I've been this excited to play was Final Fantasy X-2. So it's probably been, what, <laughs> almost 20 years? Um, but this game, Harvestella, I'm really excited for it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, let me know, am I the only one who's this excited about it? Or are you guys also as excited as I am about it?